Welcome to part two of our Press to Handstand Mobility series. If you haven't already watched part one, make sure you click on this link. Previously, we covered some hip strengthening exercises and some active flexibility for the hamstrings. Now, we will get into part two. Next, we'll look at a couple of passive and active straddle split exercises. So for the first one, we'll have Jared right up against the wall. His back will be on the floor and he'll scoot as close as possible to the wall. And he'll simply just hold a straddle split position. So he's trying to keep his legs, or really he's trying to keep his feet as close to the ground as possible. So this is passive meaning he can just relax here. He's got the wall and gravity to help him in this position does not need to use any intrinsic force through his muscles. Similarly, we can move away from the wall and start to do a little bit of an active version of this. So starting from what I call pipe candlestick, so from legs together, and then pulsing the legs out to the side a few times. And we can also do some where we stay in the straddle split and do small pulses, right? Just like that and come back to the middle and we repeat this. So we go wide, we're actively stretching this position and using that glute meat again and bringing back up to the middle. So this is definitely an active version of this straddle split stretch because we're using the internal muscles to widen the legs. Gravity is helping a little bit, but we don't have the wall. We don't have anybody pushing down on us. So it's considered active flexibility work. The next exercise we have for you are Romanian deadlifts, or these are also called straight leg deadlifts. And we don't have to lock the legs out, there can be a small bend in them, but we're gonna focus on this one because this is a great hamstring stretch. And again, we're moving, we're moving through this hiked position and we're stretching the hamstrings and it's with motion. So Romanian deadlift looks like. So notice Jared has a flat back throughout the whole movement. The hips drive back a little bit. The legs are mostly straight and you're definitely going to feel a hamstring stretch with this. So this is a good active movement to aid in hamstring flexibility, which will help your press to handstand. So this is what the Romanian deadlift looks like and a great piece of throw in to supplement your press to handstand work, whether you're doing this as a warm up or part of your press to handstand workout because we'll be hitting up a little bit of the hip compression and hamstring flexibility. So Romanian deadlifts. Okay, the last part of the mobility training will be for the shoulders. The first thing we'll do are called the eyes. So laying down on the stomach, outstretched position, arms straight, and we'll slowly just lift the arms up off the floor without trying to use the lower back. So, you know, if we did this wrong, it would look like a Superman or an arch position, which we're not looking for, right? Because we're trying to get more of the isolated, just shoulder portion. So Jared is neutral and he's lifting his arms as high off the floor as they go. Notice his thumbs are facing the ceiling. So this is what the eye position looks like. You can be lifting maybe in sets of 10. I also like to hold the last one for 10 seconds or so. And it, it gets pretty difficult to maintain this neutral spine position and uh, lifting the arms off the ground. Also, you're working a bit more of the neck muscles and trying to keep the head in line with everything else. So this is called the eye. Then we can flip over and start to work angel. So we can do this on the floor for starters. The starting position is going to be in this cactus-like position or the stick em up position as some people say. But Jared's back is flat on the floor, shoulders, elbows and hands. He should also be able to breathe throughout this whole range of motion. So what he'll start to do is straighten his arms overhead to this handstand-like position and you should start to feel a strain on the upper back, shoulders. He's trying to keep everything contacting the floor. So by the time he gets to the handstand position or the overhead position, hands, wrists, elbows, shoulders, lower back, all maintaining contact and being able to breathe. If, if this is difficult, you would simply go less. You wouldn't go all the way to straight arms. You'd find where is this? Where do you start the compensations look like if the lower back came off, if the wrist came off, if you're holding your breath. 
So try to find where that is and go to that position. So these are called angels. And to upgrade the angels we just did on the floor, we can now move to the wall and repeat the action. So Jared is sitting against this wall and the lower back's pressed up against it. There's a little wiggle room. You could have a little bit of a gap because this is a pretty difficult exercise. And we're simply recreating what we just did on the floor. So cactus position, straighten the arms, and the wall is your guide. This is showing, can you get to this overhead position with good shapes, good angles with the body? Paying attention to, are there compensations? Are the wrists coming off the wall? Are you holding your breath? So this is for shoulder mobility regarding handstand training, press handstands. And it shows if there's any deficits. Maybe there's some shoulder tightness, lat tightness, shoulder weakness, and it's a clue to what you might need to work on to increase the shoulder angle, meaning this 180 degrees for your handstand. Thanks for watching our video on flexibility, mobility, and range of motion for the press to handstand, where we outlined a lot of hip-based flexibility and range of motion, as well as shoulders. So this would be prime to add into your press to handstand training. It can also be used for a warm-up or the workout itself. You'll find a lot of people that have a press to handstand still use these exercises today, or those that are learning it will all start to work those into their program. Now this video, we focused mostly on hip and shoulder mobility, but the other component we didn't focus on much is regarding the wrist flexibility, mobility area. So if you cannot get into the right position where the forearm is starting to lean over the hand and it's too painful, too tight, whatever it is, that will directly impact your handstand and press the handstand training if you haven't already considered that. So we do have other videos on our YouTube page for addressing wrist mobility and strength. So please check those out. Thanks for watching our mobility video on press the handstands. Good luck along the way. So how strong are you? Calisthenics is the ultimate in body weight training because it's fun, challenging, and rewarding. But it's also difficult to know where to start in the whole process. So that's why we created a free calisthenics fitness assessment. And what this will do is it'll help you find out exactly where you are in your pathway of calisthenics uh, mastery. It'll help create personalized workouts for you. It'll help you achieve your goals faster. So we want everyone to have access to this regardless of their budget and location. So as long as you have internet, you'll be able to take control of your fitness program. So click below for the free assessment tool.